name is John Melroy Fernandez, lecturer at Department of B.Sc. in Interior Design and Decoration, Milagres College, Mangalore. So today I am here to discuss uh, about uh, the dressing of stones. So usually uh, when the when we get the stones, which is uh, got from the quarrying process. So when we uh, first uh, get the stones from the quarrying process, so that will be available in different size and different shapes. So the cutting of stones into different various shapes or sizes as per our needs, which is uh, as per our needs and as per the requirements of the structural work. So as per the needs, we have to cut the stones into suitable sizes and suitable uh, shapes. So that is called the dressing of stones. So usually uh, we have uh, some of the purpose of a dressing of stones. So the, in the first point, where you can uh, see that the to get the desired appearance from the stone work here what do you mean by to get the desired appearance from the stone work so either uh, you want the stone to be uh, well polished uh, which is used for the flooring work or uh, or you want uh, for the construction works or for the constructing uh, any of the walls so there you don't need a uh, polished uh, surface uh, stone stone so the surface of the stone uh, should be uh, well dressed with the rough surface so that uh, it will uh, bind the mortar as well as other stones which is uh, placed beside the stone uh, or else above the stone as well. So that is to get the appearance of the stone work. So it is uh, the dressing of the stone is uh, done to have the to get the appearance of the stone work as well. So in the next point we have to make the transport from the quarrying easier and economical okay so what do you mean by this so as i've said you all when we uh, uh, quarry uh, the stone from the uh, quarrying process from the earth the stones uh, which is available at that quarrying process will be uh, very uh, large in size very bigger in size so we can't transport the same uh, 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 the large stones directly uh, to the where it is uh, applied where we want to apply the uh, stones for a uh, stone works so that will uh, require uh, if we transfer uh, transport uh, the stones uh, directly after quarrying uh, from the earth so and uh, directly if we transport it to the site uh, it will require more uh, number of uh, labor as well or else it will uh, uh, even require uh, some of the heavy uh, machinery equipments uh, uh, for the uh, transport and it will be very expensive uh, process so it is better uh, we dress the stone which is uh, quarried either uh, not for the permanent uh, dressing I am talking about uh, just the temporary dressing to be done on the uh, site where it is uh, quarried and then it is to be transported. So to make the transport so that will uh, make uh, easier and it is economical as well. As well. So if we uh, uh, dress the stone uh, into desired uh, shape it will be uh, yeah, easier for us to uh, keep a stock of it or else even for the transport uh, when we trans uh, when we transfer the stones uh, uh, to the uh, transport vehicles as well so uh, you you can place the stones in a uh, good uh, equal manner so that is uh, about the second point so next uh, we have to suit the requirements of the stone masonry so as i have al already said you all uh, so for the uh, flooring purpose we used uh, some of the uh, stones which is a uh, polished surface so we'll uh, we use uh, manually uh, polished uh, surface or else it can be mechanically also some of the machines we use uh, and we rub it uh, on the stone so that desired uh, to our requirement so if we have to uh, construct it for the walls uh, or where the, uh, for the foundations uh, we need the rough uh, stones uh, which is uh, roughly dressed uh, uh, if the smooth dressed uh, stones uh, we put it for the foundation so that will not uh, combine that will not bind the other uh, stones uh, for the uh, stone work so that is uh, what uh, which is uh, discussed in the third point next one to take the advantage of the local men near the quarrying who are trained for such type of work so what do you mean by uh, this point to take the advantage of the local men so uh, as you all know uh, you uh, if you all uh, visited uh, some of the historical uh, 
monumental uh, buildings or the temples as well. So there you might have uh, uh, found some of the carvings uh, which is done by the local uh, craftsmen. So the local uh, the stone smiths uh, who have uh, carved these stones into different uh, sizes or uh, different uh, sculptures, different uh, uh, shapes. Uh, so all this. So in this way you, it can be useful uh, for the local uh, stone smiths uh, for the uh, work as well. So it will be useful. So they'll also get the uh, work. In that uh, way, you can uh, employ the uh, local laborers as well. So that is uh, about the purpose of uh, dressing of stones. So next, uh, we move on to the types of dressing. As I've said, y'all, it can the, the stones uh, can be dressed uh, either manually or mechanically. So right uh, in the fourth point, I've explained uh, y'all. So the local, uh, uh, the local uh, laborers or the lo local uh, stone smiths uh, uh, who works, uh, who have, who carved uh, these uh, stones, which is uh, in the, which you can see in the historical uh, monumental uh, uh, buildings as well. So that is all done by the manually by the using the help of a, a chisel or the hammer as well. Okay, so it is manually carved. So next, uh, next we have the mechanical. So machines. So using machines which can cut uh, the stones into desired shapes or desired uh, uh, sizes as well. You can use these machines uh, uh, for the polishing work, uh, for the rubbing of uh, the stones. So that is uh, done through the mechanically. So there are uh, two uh, various uh, uh, types of uh, dressing that is one is manually it can be done and uh, it can be done through mechanically also. So here there are uh, some of the traditional uh, types of dressing of uh, stones uh, which are quite popular even at the present. So I have listed uh, some of the uh, uh, dressing of the stones, some of the finishes which is uh, done. So we will look into the first one. So the first one we have the axed finish. So if you look at the picture here, a man, uh, so you can't uh, see a full man but only the hand is been uh, shown. So he is having a chisel or the axe uh, which is uh, hit by a hammer. So the so hard stones of such as like uh, igneous stones, uh, for example, uh, the granites which are dressed by means of an axe. So such a finish is termed as an axed finish. So here uh, what is the material used? The axe is being used or uh, even uh, the chisel also can be used with the help of the hammer so it is uh, for the hard stones so the hard stones uh, will be uh, dressed in the same way okay so next we have uh, the next finish that is the boasted and the drood finish so here what do you mean uh, what you uh, if you look at the picture here so the uh, all the lines uh, all the uh, this finish is making the parallel marks uh, if you can uh, see here there are uh, vertical uh, sorry the inclined uh, parallel marks which is spaced uh, uh, at a same uh, distance so uh, it can be a uh, mark so in this type of uh, finish a booster is used so to a booster is used so either it can be marked inclined it can be marked vertically as well or horizontally also so non uh, it is a non continuous parallel marks on the stone surface so these marks may be horizontal, inclined or vertical. So booster is a chisel having the edge of width of about 60 mm. So that uh, the material which is used that is booster. Okay. So and it is uh, dressed. So this type of uh, dressing uh, if you uh, find it in any of the stones. So that is called the booster or the drood finish. So that is the second uh, type of uh, finish so next uh, we have the circular uh, finish so most of uh, uh, the students you, you all might have uh, come uh, across uh, these type of uh, finish which is done to the stones if you all have uh, visited the temples uh, so most of the columns which has been uh, created in the temples so they, they are been uh, carved as a semicircle or a circular or a round uh, type of finish which is given so that is uh, shown here. So that uh, finish is called the circular finish. 
so here also the hammer and the chisel is been used to carve the stones so in the fourth uh, type we have the dragged or the combed finish so combed finish is suitable for the soft stones so here uh, the same way where uh, we have the comb uh, which uh, Uh, for example the same comb which we have which we used to comb our hair the same kind of comb is present uh, even uh, to uh, make this type of finish so but the comb which is used to dress the stone that is of steel so here the steel comb which is having the sharp teeth is been dragged on the surface of the soft stone so this will uh, also use uh, for the appearance uh, of the stone and it can be uh, so it can be dragged uh, either vertically or horizontally or inclined or it can be uh, marked in all the it can be dragged in all the directions to give the good appearance to the stones for, and it is uh, for the soft stones as well so that is about the fourth uh, type of finish next we have the fifth one that is furrowed finish so in this type of uh, finish which is uh, given so this type of finish can be given uh, for the rectangular uh, stones all the uh, square stones or uh, triangular stones also so here the margin is kept as of about uh, 20 mm width and the center uh, part that has been uh, divided into 15 mm so several uh, vertical so here you can uh, see the vertical uh, or uh, groups uh, but uh, even the horizontal or the vertical grooves of about 10 mm uh, wide can be uh, created in this type of finish so that is uh, about the furrowed finish next we have the molded finish so the stone surface can be molded into different desired shape to improve the appearance of the work so work moldings can be done by hand or by machines so you can uh, uh, do this uh, type of a finish by using the moldings as well or uh, uh, you can uh, use uh, it uh, by hand or you can do it manually or you can do it you can uh, use the machine to give such of a uh, finish so if you look at the picture itself you can uh, Uh, look at the surface of the stones uh, which is been uh, shaped into same equally uh, dressed and uh, molded into the same uh, rectangular shapes next uh, we have the hammer dressed finish so the say uh, if you look at the picture uh, in this type of finish so the stones are uh, uh, clearly dressed it is equally dressed either in uh, rectangular uh, shapes or uh, it can it is in the square shaped and the surface is uh, roughly square or rectangular so it is uh, rough if you uh, rub your uh, hands uh, on the texture of the uh, on the surface of the stone you can uh, feel the texture which is very rough and uh, the lines the horizontal the vertical lines are very clearly and it is uh, very nicely very neatly uh, uh, dressed and finished so this type of uh, uh, finish will uh, require the hammer and uh, so it is hammered finish okay. so next uh, one we have the plain finish so in this type of finish the surface of the stone is uh, made approximately smooth with the saw or with the chisel so here you can uh, uh, the what uh, the surface of the stone which is uh, rough that is made smooth by the help of the saw saw which means the blade so you can uh, uh, use the help of the saw or uh, the help of the chisel it has been finished so after that we have the next one that is the polished finish so these uh, finish can be applied on the marbles as well as the granites so you can uh, do it uh, both manually as well or else you can uh, even uh, do it with the uh, mechanically so at uh, present uh, most of this uh, polish will be done uh, mechanically using the uh, rubbing uh, machine uh, with the help of the sand paper uh, so the various uh, uh, th thickness of the various diameter uh, various thickness of uh, 
uh, sandpaper which is uh, uh, available so using that we polish the surface of the uh, granite or the marble so that is the polished surface sorry the, uh, the polished finish next uh, one uh, we have the punched machine finish so punched finish if you look at the picture itself you can uh, uh, see that the stone the surface of the stone is being uh, punched by the using the machine so it is punched by using machine which uh, depress the surface of the stones and create the hollows and the ridges on the surface of the stone so this kind of uh, finish which is uh, used for the foundation work so which is uh, not exposed uh, uh, which is not exposed outside the earth so foundation which will be uh, inside the earth so in that type of uh, construction we can use this uh, type of punched machine finished stones next one we have that is the rubbed finish so here also we have the stone uh, here what uh, what is done uh, the one uh, the two stones which is rubbed uh, like a sandwich so the surface of one stone is uh, rubbed to the surface of one more stone so and uh, periodically even the sand and the water is been introduced into the uh, while rubbing the stone so that is uh, called the rubbed finish so next uh, we have the uh, scrambling uh, finish so in this type of finish the irregular po uh, projections so when you have a plain uh, uh, surface of the stone so which is uh, some of the if you look at the plain surface of the stone some of the projections uh, some of the parts of the uh, stone uh, will be uh, swollen uh, out uh, it will be projected out from that uh, plain surface so such uh, surface is been uh, finished by the help of the scrambling hammer so in this uh, type of uh, scrambling finish uh, the scrambling hammer uh, is been used so if you look at the picture here the man is using uh, the scrambling hammer on the horizontal surface of the stone so this type of a uh, finish will be uh, given to the horizontal surface of the stones so next uh, we have the reticulated finish so if you look at the figure here so the figure itself uh, 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 can uh, you by looking at the figure itself you can make out that it looks like a netted structure so uh, the type of uh, net uh, like appearance it is having so the margin is kept about 20 mm wide and is marked on the edges of the stones so irregular sinking between the stones is being done okay at uh, and it uh, the sink is been uh, it is been sinking at a deep of 5 mm a tapered device is used to place marks on the submerged surface thereby presenting a pop mark appearance so here it gives the appearance of the netted surface so all the margins is been uh, kept of 20 mm wide which is marked outside the edge of the stone and then it is uh, the stone is been sinked with the netted pattern and uh, to the deep of about 5 mm so that is about the reticulated finish so the next one we have the tooled finish so what do you mean by a uh, tooled finish the surface of the stone is finished by means of a chisel and the continuous parallel marks have been projected on the stones so here uh, the horizontal uh, marks you can see but it can be it uh, can be either horizontal marks or the vertical or inclined uh, marks also are uh, left on the surface of the stone so the tool uh, which is used here is the chisel for uh, this type of finish so after that next we have the self faced or self uh, sorry the rock faced or the quarry faced finish so in this uh, word itself by looking at the word itself you can uh, make out uh, that self faced or rock faced so the while uh, in the quarrying process while quarrying the rocks itself the rock the surface of the uh, rock is found smooth so it can be directly uh, applied on the surface of the wall 
so some stones which is obtained from quarrying process uh, which is smooth surface can be directly placed on the work so such stone is uh, known as the rock the first or the quarry faced or the self faced uh, finish stones so next one we have the sunk finish so if you can uh, look at the fig uh, figure here it uh, similar uh, looks like the uh, cement hollow uh, blocks so which is having a hollow in the center so this is also the same way the uh, margin is been given of about uh, 20 mm uh, uh, width and then uh, in the inner part is been uh, sink uh, down till the root in the form of wide grooves or the chamfers or the inclined surface as well so next uh, and the last one we have the vermiculated finish here so uh, by uh, looking uh, at the word itself uh, it tells that it looks like a worm so it is named as the vermiculated finish it is nothing but uh, similar to the rec uh, reticulated type so in reticulated type you had a netted appearance but here you can uh, if you look at the surface of the stone it looks like the uh, worms is, uh, worms have eaten the surface of the stone so the surf uh, the same it also looks like the netted appearance so it gives a netted appearance like the reticulated finish type of the stone and uh, except that the single longs are more curved this finish presents a worm eaten appearance to the surface of the stones so today we have uh, discussed uh, uh, the topic uh, the dressing of stones and uh, some of the various uh, traditional uh, types of dressing of stones which is uh, uh, used at present so that's all for today's class thank you